Helpful hint, start from the top of every room and work your way down. For delicate objects like this doll, use the spray and wipe technique. Cell phones tend to collect oil from your skin, so spray and wipe them periodically too. Adding a brush to the nozzle gives you more scrubbing power, but let the machine do the scrubbing. It's probably your habit to pick up a brush and want to scrub hard. But remember, the heat, moisture, and pressure are going to do the work for you, so use the tips of the bristles, not the sides. In the beginning, as you get used to this new technique, you may smash a few brush bristles. They are very inexpensive to replace, so order a few extras when you need them. Call 1-800-SGT-STEAM or from our website, sergeantsteam.com. You can use the two-step process. Brush the surface to loosen dirt, then wipe away the moisture and dirt. Or cover the brush with a white sock or cleaning cloth to loosen and collect dirt in a one-step process. The stiff bristles scrub grime out of textures with amazing results. Helpful hint, it really speeds things up if you add a little hand soap to the bristles. Wrap the scrub bud around the 2-inch stiff brush to clean ovens and stove tops. You may find you don't mind this job at all anymore because it no longer involves harsh chemicals in their fumes or rubber gloves. Even if your oven is self-cleaning, the areas outside the insulation and the glass in the door usually need a little attention. Now I know I just told you not to push, but this is one area where a little pressure is necessary to remove the greasy Burton buildup. Clean the door and window, the racks, the walls, ceiling, and oven floor. The scrub bud is made of steel, but it's woven in spirals, not cut like steel wool, so it doesn't scratch the baked porcelain inside your oven. Many self-cleaning ovens forbid the use of oven cleaning chemicals because it's almost impossible to get them all rinsed out. During the next self-cleaning, the leftover chemical residue could combust and start a fire in your oven. You can feel safe using steam because it leaves nothing behind that can damage your oven even at the extremely high self-cleaning temperature. Sergeant Steam can even improve your golf game. Let's revive the tack on a golf club grip. Use the soft brush and scrub gently to remove old oil and dirt. Clean the grooves and polish the heads. Don't forget to clean your golf balls, shoes, and bag. Even if you don't play better, you'll look better. Sergeant Steam makes tile grout look like new even in high traffic areas. To detail really grimy grout, use the one inch brush on the nozzle and two extensions so you can stand comfortably. Rub a little hand soap on the bristles and slowly work each grout line. Then change to the rectangle brush wrapped with the clean towel to pick up the dirt and moisture. If you see the steam pressure diminish, turn it off while you pick up the loosened dirt and the towel and let the pressure recover. Helpful hint, put the soap dish down on the floor and dip into it as you need more. The next time you clean this tile, you will likely be able to use the one step process with the towel wrapped around the rectangle brush. The stainless steel brush is really fast, but please be aware of how much pressure you're using. You'll dig the grout right out if you push too hard. The plumber's helper opens slow drains and clears clogs in tubs, bathroom, and kitchen sinks. The heat melts through the grease food debris, hair, and soap scum, and the pressure blasts it down the drain. Place the rubber gasket over the drain opening. Cover the spillway and bathroom sinks with a thick towel so the steam does not rise up toward you. Galvanized and copper pipes can take full heat and pressure, but limit steam exposure on PVC pipes. You don't want them to warp. Rinse clear water down the newly cleared drain. Soap scum in your tub and shower used to be a real problem, but Sergeant Steam is definitely up to the challenge. Power pads are an optional accessory I know you'll find very helpful. The square disc holds nylon scrubbing pads that are great for getting into corners between your oven or barbecue racks. The flat edge gives you a great scraping tool for removing thick buildup. Each color pad has a different degree of texture and you should only use power pads on surfaces that are scratch resistant. White pads are the softest. You'll use them gently on chrome and glass. Red pads are a little more abrasive and help you get through dried spills on your stove top. Blue pads are effective on porcelain and stainless steel sinks and tubs. Green pads can clean tough textured plastics. 
Black pads tackle burnt-on spills in ovens and barbecues. Having your car interior professional